In this video I'm going to show you how to install add-ons and how to know where to find them once you have them enabled. So Blender comes with a bunch of add-ons and if you go to edit up here at the left hand corner and go to preferences and then go down to add-ons you'll see a list of add-ons. Uh, the first one we're going to enable is loop tools. So just right here to search type loop and go ahead and check that checkbox. Uh, the next one we're going to do is bull tool and again check that checkbox. Uh, same thing for the rest of these we're going to do extra and do extra objects and extra curve objects and extra mesh objects. And the last but not least by any means is node wrangler. So type in node and turn on node wrangler. Now that we have those enabled I'm going to show you how to install some uh, add-ons. So I'm dropping to the desktop. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to name it add-ons. So I have a place to put them and keep them for later. Then I'm going to go to the internet and I'm going to search Blender add-on easy HDRI and go to search and just click the uh, top one here from blenderartist.net and you should see the monkey head and right down here there's a free add-on code just click it and then over here you just say I want this nope. you can type in zero there and then say I want this put your email address in and click get and then you can view content and just download. Once it's downloaded, you can show in the folder and close the internet. And then we can just drag it out of there and drop it right in our add on folder. And close that. Once it's in the add on folder, uh, you can go back to Blender and click install find your add-on folder go to the easy HDR you do not have to unzip this just double click it and it installs it and then you can enable it down here we have three little bars make sure you turn on auto save preferences once that on you can hit click save preferences now to figure out where blender hides these add-ons from you uh, you can click the drop down menu of each uh, add-on and it'll tell you where Blender puts it so like view 3D properties easy HDRI properties is uh, the end panel let's close that and look at some other ones so we also have uh, curve extra objects so if you hit the drop down it'll tell you view 3D add curve extra objects so what that means is this is the view 3D this is the add curve and then you get all these extra objects so to see this is with it enabled and without it enabled so if I turn it off and go back to that add button you can see that you don't have much of anything just a few things but if we turn it back on we have a whole bunch of stuff we can play with so that's how you find where these add-ons went and a lot of the times it'll just put it over here like right here's our easy HDRI that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one